What is up, my loquacious librarians? It's Chris with Tabletops and Tentacles, and this is another RPG Zine Month Rundown video. So in this episode of Zine Month, we are taking a look at a combination of some Mothership stuff and some old school essential stuff. Mostly things that I've just either backed a previous project from them and I'm super excited about this, or I've backed this one and I've backed their previous stuff. Um, so these are all really interesting, cool projects, so let's dive in. First up, Knights of Lazarus. This is a reoccurring galactic faction, dangerous puzzle dungeon, and a powerful Xenotech artifact for the Mothership RPG. This is from Marco Serrano who did the A Constant Downpour Zine Quest project last year that I backed and absolutely love and have like literally just sat and read through multiple times now because it's so cool. Um, this one's really interesting. So it, it presents a puzzle that's unsolvable the first time through. You have to figure out the best tactics to combat specialized enemies, role play through encounters and choose whether to retreat or push your luck through the dungeon, the ship Canterbury. Will you plan a heist or take the oath to join the knights themselves? Whatever the choice, the crew will discover the secrets of the order and the dangers of testing their boundaries. This sounds fascinating. It's got 20 plus rumors. There's a dungeon built around regrouping and strategic planning, and it is built to be something that you can just drop into pretty much any mothership campaign or play as a one shot, which I think is great. Marco's also really good about creating things that are easy to convert to other projects and other RPGs. So if you play, I mean, even from what I've seen of this, even like Mutant Call Crass crawl classics or obviously like death in space would be a great one the alien rpg it wouldn't take much to take this project and convert it to whatever it is you're playing right now the artwork looks fantastic in it you can get the pdf for eight bucks you can get the print version for 16 and then there's a whole bunch of other stuff including starter kits with like the familiar faces PDF. Um, there's the buffet that includes those as well as a notebook and a few other things. So Knights of Lazarus is going to be 56 full color pages. It includes dungeon maps, it has dungeon rule sets, it has automated enemies. There's all sorts of NPCs, variable play rules, secrets and rumors. Um, basically everything you love about Mothership with a, a really cool kick to this Knights of Lazarus thing. I think it looks fantastic. It's got this like really unique faction that you're dealing with. And the whole Space Knights thing is... I mean, it's a no-brainer for me. I'm a huge fan of that anyway. There's a full 20-page preview that you can download from the Kickstarter. But honestly, even just looking at the art and the layout stuff that's in this one, it looks fantastic. I'm super into Knights of Lazarus. So it's live on Kickstarter right now. Links are below or at tabletopsandtentacles.com. And make sure you pick this up. This is probably going to be the first project that we run with the new 1E of Mothership because I think it just... It looks really cool, and I'm very excited about what he's doing with this. So next up, we have another mothership project, Orbital Debris. This one's killing it. They're doing like 13,000, and it's from Terry Herc. Um, this is a moon-spanning junkyard hex crawl from Mothership. It's compatible with first edition on it as well. It includes different factions, NPCs. There's 23 different environments and more. It's going to be over 50 pages. It's going to be done by 13 different authors and five artists. And I think this looks really cool. You can get the PDF for 10 bucks. Or you can get a print-on-demand code through drive-thru for 23 and that gets you the PDF and the print-on-demand code. And then you just go on and pick it up once it's available through them at cost. Um, I think this sounds amazing. It's got 23 different hexes written by a team of people who have all contributed together to create this really unique awesome thing like there's mecha graveyards and grand scriptoriums and a desert of old writing utensils psychic prison i i'm really excited about this there's new factions new npcs there's all sorts of random generators for scrap and junkyards and it's been designed so that you can use it as a complete campaign or just cherry pick the certain uh 
one shots that you want to use for it. So this sort of spontaneously formed over the Mothership Discord with a bunch of creators getting together and wanting to create something that they each made but could all interact together and then they collaborated to make this super cool project. Um, it's still got about seven days to go as well, so hop on that if you want a little bit of junky moon in your zine month. <laughs> Next up, we're shifting to something a little more old school for a while. We're going to take a look at Axion Library for old school essentials. So this collects four zines together. The Wondrous Weavings Warped and Weird, The Mysteriously Missing and Merrily Met, The Notable Novices and Notorious Newcomers, and The Pious Prayers and Powerful Prodigy zines. If you didn't know, I'm a big fan of alliteration anyway, so I was already a sucker for these, but they look amazing. Each of these are sort of their own standalone thing. There's some rule sets, there's some different uh, features and like secrets and rumors and tables to roll. And these are all being combined together into a really gorgeous looking hardcover book. These have all been released previously as printed home zines. You can actually get them for free through the link on there if you want to, but they've already unlocked a bunch of stuff through stretch goals, including new artwork, new pieces and tables in there. So the hardcover book is gonna be printed and fulfilled through Drive-Thru RPG. So backers of all pledge levels will receive the PDF as soon as it's finalized, and then backers at the pledge level version will get that cost print code for it. And I've seen a, quite a few of these. This is actually how I've done quite a few of my projects lately because it helps streamline the international printing aspect of things. And it's kind of cool. I, I kind of dig the fact that I can collect these and then order like five or six books at cost and have them all shipped at the same time, pay the, the smaller printing cost and stuff with it. Um, you can get the Axiom Library for $6.00. Sorry, you can get the Axiom Library for $7 for the PDF, or you can get the PDF and print code for eight bucks. So it's not too expensive, honestly. They have a couple of other pledges on there, including some art stuff and some fuller library collections of the other stuff that they do. But I think this looks great. The artwork and the graphic design in this in particular has always been really nice looking. So I'm super into this. And I think it'd be really nice to have them collected together because I personally, as much as I absolutely love zines, I really, there's something about a nice, sexy book on my shelf that I prefer still. Um, so yeah, that was uh, Axion Library. And that one is live on Kickstarter as well for about a week. Staying with the old school essentials theme, we also have old school and cool number three. I backed number two previously and love it. And one of the things I think is really cool about this is they're each very different types of stuff. In this particular one, you're taking people up to the next level with godlike powers, new spells, and magic items for like that high level adventurer, like skull crushing old school awesomeness, as they put it. It's 40 pages, there's a ton of art, the print version is going to be saddle stitched and and printed locally in the Pacific Northwest. There is also a PDF version of it. Uh, Wynn Lothhammer does all the art in it. Ashima comes up with the crazy ideas and writes most of the words. And then Wynn does all the layout. It's got this great, like, old school black and white art look to it. And I'm really excited about this. There's monsters, spells, magic items, mini adventures. So you can get the digital download for seven bucks, or you can get the soft cover print version for 13. You can also get copies of the previous ones, which I highly recommend if you don't have them. I love the second issue on it. Um, it's a couple bucks for shipping, and so there's no stretch goals for this. They're doing really well and have about a week left. So if you wanna get it on old school and cool number three, hop on it, links are below. <laughs> Speaking of third issues of things, Planar Compass issue three is also out. And in this particular issue, you venture into the plane of law and time in the third issue of this old school essential zine. I have the second one of these as well and absolutely love it. Um, they do really interesting stuff. This is a third party zine designed for use with old school essentials. 
they're really creating a unique world with these that every one of these issues flushes out a little bit more. It expands the world. It adds other locations and unique characters to it. This one looks gorgeous. The, the cover from Zoe Downey is just super cool looking. It's got this really unique aesthetic to it, sort of clockwork beetles and knights riding them. So on this side of the planar portal is a new weird fantasy setting for old school essentials. It includes the setting of the Church of Ordo, two new classes, the Time Priest and the Chanakoid. There are law and time spells for the new priest class, there's monsters and adventure seeds. Love these, they're simple, they're well written, they're Oh, they're, they integrate so perfectly with old school essentials, and I highly recommend to dive in. You can also get their previous issues through this Kickstarter. Um, issue three is six bucks. You can get issues one, two, and three in PDF for 12, or you can get a physical copy of issue three for 14. You can also get all three issues physically for 40. And if you don't have the previous ones, I highly recommend picking up all three if you can, because I. I really dig the world that they've created for Old School Essentials with these zines. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting indie creators and artists. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can go to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash deeply dapper. Or you can back our project that's live right now. I collaborated with Craig over at Squid Ink Games this month for Zine Month, and I'm releasing a game called Those Wretched Kids, which is a solo RPG game based off of the Wretched and Alone system where you play a Scooby-Doo villain who's set on trying to uh, accomplish their plot, dissuade interlopers by creating some silly legend to scare them away from the haunted amusement park, and avoid those darned teenage snoops so if you'd like to check that out links are below as well or you can just look up those wretched kids on kickstarter thank you so much for watching may you live in interesting times <laughs> <laughs>